I'll have no joke. <laughs> oh yes. Lush. Great. Um, okay, my last poem. Um, I'm dyslexic and uh, I was asked to do a dyslexic festival. So I thought, well, I'll have to write a dyslexia poem then, won't I? Um, so yeah, so this is my poem for being dyslexic. And I've been Catherine Brogan and thank you very much for having me and Merry Christmas! from my old school books. Having nostalgic looks at my creative writing. Not overly exciting, but I could spell one word four ways on the same page at that age. And my logic was, for I remember the cause, one must be right. <laughs> but forever in sight, the red pen mark, always stark on the white of the page, provoking my rage. <laughs> my parents noticed, I wasn't very focused. Clever and bright, but my writing not right. To wait on the list would have been taking the piss. So they paid for the test. I wasn't as bad as all the rest. The kids from this state were parenting weren't great. Their dads never read to them. In fact, they rarely came. So the test said, not bad in the head. Chat, brilliant. Writing, hesitant. So every week I would sneak to a classroom by myself and ask to melt the words, verbs into a series of signs to the subsequent frowns of my special needs teacher. But I find it easy to reach her remedial lessons and counted my lessons that I didn't have to do mixed up sentences. But Mrs. Lockman found out, said without a doubt it was much too easy and managed to squeeze me back to normal class where I would always pass and she would ask that I recite my poetry to all and sundry, sent to every classroom to expressively boom my personal rhyme during class time. I got my A in the level plus. It simply was a must unless you wanted to rust in a day in school treated like a two. At the old girls' grammar, I always had a messy plan. When I got a C plus, it caused a fuss, but I showed them, downloaded the curriculum. <laughs> By GCSEs, I was fine. A levels were mine. Top of the class, managed to surpass the expectations of educators that laughed at my letters and my inability to spell. Encouraged by those who could tell, my expression was unique despite my handwriting being oblique and they would decrypt my chaotic script. But one made me cry. When constantly asking why, I always failed the spelling test. My writing was always a mess. She thought me lazy but I didn't let it faze me. I used to share what I'd write with others on a GeoCity site. Second year of uni, my tutor somewhat threw me, called me in, it was clear to him I was dyslexic. I thought I was just hectic. <laughs> but he made me take the test, I passed it, like all the rest, certified dyslexic. <laughs> I was a bit sceptic, but I got 45 minutes extra and a bit of blue paper to say I was special. <laughs> Didn't matter my writing was mental. Free laptop, dictaphone, scanner, <laughs> PDA, software, printer. Brilliant. When I got my passport signed by my primary teacher, I asked why they hadn't known sooner. When I'd taken the test, why hadn't it said dyslexic? Yes. And she said the education authority didn't want the responsibility about educating me appropriately. As a result of this luck, special needs teacher wasn't trained as such. But she remembered me. Did I still write poetry? Well, if you want to know, you can hear me on a Radio 4 show. <laughs> Mrs. Lochran, Mrs. Mohun, Miss McChrystal, Mrs. Wilkinson. Never said I was dyslexic, just talented and meant it. <laughs> <laughs>